How are you doing guys? Thanks again for joining me on another vlog. So today what I'm going to do is, um, it's a beautiful day actually as well. I'm going down to meet Stephanie from Happy to Help now. I've already done my morning run. I'm going to give her some more money raised by the channel, 350 euro. Um, and then later on we'll have a few things to do at work. Sahara unfortunately isn't going to join me on this vlog. Maybe later on, let's see, um, as she is doing a double shift today. Um, I have a few things to do at work then. I've already done my morning run. Um, and then I'm going to meet Data Daz later on for um, to try some pancakes in a place over in Golf de Sore. Guys, if you are enjoying the content myself and the Persian Princess are putting out, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell for further notifications. And guys, I'll talk to you in a little while. So, let's do this! So we decided not we weren't gonna have a dessert, but apparently they've got something I've never heard of. How you doing folks? So I'm here now with Stephanie from Happy to Help. Uh, we're just having a chat. I'm actually gonna get, hand over some more money raised from the charity, 350 euro. Stephanie is gonna give us a quick update with what's going on with Happy to Help and how things are progressing and what's happening here on the island. Um, so Stephanie, have you seen a big change with, well firstly, hello. Good morning. <laughs> have you seen a big change in the last while with what's going on in the island in relation to people struggling and stuff? It's getting worse by the day. I think we took four new families on yesterday. Um, all people who were doing well and who were coping financially had a, a business or at least a job. And now it, now it's, you can see it every day, the deterioration is serious. And there's no help. But Arona don't even answer the phone at the moment with social services. Uh, their next appointments haven't even been released. And when they are, it'll be the end of March beginning of April, our own are well. They're all the same as they always are. So yeah, we're just struggling on and, and you know, getting as much uh, money we can from donations. We've just this morning had a load of sleeping bags and um, tents and shopping trolleys for the homeless, donated by, um, by Sunnydale um, Clubhouse there. Oh, brilliant. And that's Club Lacoste. So that was wonderful, over a thousand euros. Wow. That. So that was nice. Our guys did a sleep out a couple of weeks ago and they've made almost 4,000 euros. Wow. So money's still coming in and it's going out as quickly as it comes in, but that's fine. You know, all the time it's coming in and we can buy food, we can deliver food, that's good. Well, one of the things like for me that I, I have noticed and from talking to you is that while it is definitely getting worse and, and myself and Lee, the Mac Master, are actually going to do a vlog at some stage talking about how the lack of support for small businesses is, have been here on the island. And a lot of that is the cause of why people have literally, their businesses fail. They can't afford to survive here on the island. And, and, and I'm seeing it happen around me. I'm seeing businesses close and I'm not seeing, from what I can see and what I've seen is there's not a lot of support here from the government at all. And um, But on the positive side of it, I have seen uh, from talk, well, even from talking to you, that a lot of people are getting together, a lot of people are trying to help each other, a lot of people are raising money um, to support people here on the island. It's not easy, and uh, I'd like to thank you again, as always, for all the work that you're doing. And in relation to the sleep out, there was a sleep out recently which raised um, 4,000 euro. I'm also planning to do one, but I want to do it um, on the street in Los Cris or in Las Americas, but 
I, I need to be sure with Guardia Seville and stuff like that that it's 100% okay where I sleep because obviously there's a curfew here and um, yeah but when we are gonna do it will be announced and will be will happen so um, yeah on a positive note things things are happening here we're happy to help do you think would you as well as the increase of kind of um, people struggling here on the island do you see an increase in the generosity of course people are amazing because everybody's struggling even pensioners now are having to support their own people don't they their own kids yeah but they're still there and, and you know they can't do enough yeah it's unbelievable i, I you know I, it just makes me, me so proud to be in, in tenerife and, and see these people and how i know them and how they've involved they've got and how excited they are when yeah. they can help and our the people that we've helped are helping yeah and that's incredible you know, some of the mums that were, were really struggling and they've had help and they're out there now taking food to the home ah, so, you know, taking sleeping bags out and stuff like that for us. So that's what it's about, isn't it? Big time. You know, it's, it's just passing it all on and it hopefully it'll go on into the future. There's well, good I things, a lot of good things come out of it as well as the movie. Yeah, I mean, that for me as well is, a, I was talking about it on my vlog a couple of days ago, was sometimes you don't know what's going on in people's lives and sometimes you're deep down struggling hard like and pride or fear of of rejection or whatever it is you're afraid to reach out like um and sometimes the best thing you can do is reach out because people around you generally you know the people that care generally want to help you you know and um and i'm seeing that through your charity and i'm also seeing that funny enough um through people that watch my channel have sent me messages can they help me? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, the people have, have, yeah. have offered offered assistance to me. Have, you know, my family have reached out to me. People generally do care. And that's something that I have seen that's massively positive out of a situation, out of a negative situation, is people generally, they want to help each other. And, and that is quite beautiful. And, and, and it does, like you said, it makes me proud to be um, human first and, 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 and proud to see the people here helping each other. So, yeah, so... Um, Thank you, Stephanie, for joining another one of my vlogs. I appreciate it. And hopefully we can get the old sleep out organized and um, you'll see me sleeping rough. And uh, I'll be honest with you, with my past when I was younger, it won't be the first time I've slept rough. Slept rough, So I'm prepared for it. Um, I'm not as tough as I was back then. But <laughs> different different circumstances, but, and, and a little bit warmer actually, because when I slept out, I was in Ireland. So it was cold and wet. So guys, we'll talk to you in a little while. And thanks again, Stephanie. We'll talk to you soon. See you soon. Thank you. Let the first sound you hear be a bee. Heart it's beating bright, it's beating bold. Mm. As when your eyes come to me, I'm humbled constantly. A supernova in sight. You might recognize this dude. Wait a minute, I'll put my mask on and then I'm in disguise. Call tell the still, you still recognize him. <laughs> data Daz, Data Daz, who looks after all the data. data. So you'll see his link in the description below. We're actually, we're actually planning to go and have uh, pancakes originally, yeah. but Data Daz came up with a better plan. What's oh, the plan? The plan is to have some modern tapas. Tapas. Absolutely beautiful tapas in a lovely seafront uh, location. Uh, but the modern versions of the Spanish tapas. And just to let you know, uh, Lee, I know you love tapas, so we'll be enjoying the tapas just well, for you. Well, yeah, 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 Lee. Lee loves his old tapas. Well, we can get them down later because it's not the standard Spanish tapas. I think Lee would like these because I know Lee said before we, he's not We, we tried the modern tapas the last time with okay. Lee and it didn't work out. Okay. But, but anyway. Just to let you know, guys, just in case you're worried about the masks, we're actually, there's no one around us. I'm a, um, myself and Darren are in our own bubble. Um, I mean, Let's hope and nobody pinpricks it. They don't pinprick our bubble. Um, so we are literally, uh, there's no one around, have masks off. We're going to go and try this tapas. We're going to do a little video, show you what we eat, and we'll have a little bit of a banter then. See you in a few minutes. May you find
find that your heart it burns as big as your mother's, and your smile just as bright. Remember crazy. This is why I connect with Data Daz because he's as mentally unstable as me. <laughs> but my Data's really stable. His Data's stable, but he's not stable. There you go. <laughs> they work well together. This was a great idea by Data Daz, but unfortunately the music's really good but we can't do a vlog here because of the music and I'm not going to blame anyone in particular A bit of music man, a bit of dancing, a bit of Why I man, why I? <laughs> we could have some lovely tapas and some nice background music But you guys wouldn't have been able, been able to enjoy it so we're going to do pancakes instead guys it's, uh, So we're out of luck again, the pancake place is now closed so uh, I blame him no. It's all day it does it's fault, no. so uh, we're gonna have to find somewhere else. We'll go so a little bit further along. Let's have a look, see how it goes. Thanks to Data Daz for all the messing around. Oh, it's my fault. Yeah, it's all his fault. And tell you what, so what were we try? I was, <laughs> I was nearly confused. <laughs> we got very confused. So we tried the tapas place. Yeah. And uh, you was, didn't too much music. Too much music, so we couldn't do the vlog. Yeah. We went. We waited in the tapas place to go see. and do 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 the vlog. We thought, okay, maybe the music will end, and then yeah. we decided we're gonna have pancakes. Yeah, and just as we got to the pancake place, it was shut, it was shut. Yeah, so uh, shutting, shutting. Yeah, they had five minutes left, but they wouldn't make us pancakes. No, no, no pancakes. Feeling very emotional about no, that. Tell me about it. I was thinking about pancakes all day. Got it. Got so we're going somewhere else and said, yeah. neither of us tr have tried. No, definitely not. So we're gonna give it a lash, as they say in Ireland. What a would lash? they say in Newcastle? Give it a gan. Give it a gan. We're gonna give, give it a gan, or, gan. or a lash, as we say in yeah. Ireland. And the name of the place is Atlantico Sore. Sure. That's the place there, right? So, we'll check it out, will we? Yeah, let's what's give my, it a go. What's my catchphrase? Um, have you got one? I have got one, you should I'm notice it. Let's do this. Uh, no, let's what's do your this. catchphrase? Never confused. Never confused, there you go, <laughs> never confused. Let's do this. Let's go in and check it out. So, so right, first thing Daz asked me, he says, he says, are we not sitting beside each other? And uh, he looks really disappointed that we're not sitting beside each other. I wanted to put my hand on his knee and he won't let me out. <laughs> Got it. Got it. But I'm not confused. Got it, but not confused. But you know what he's happy about? He gets to look into my beautiful hazel eyes. There you go, Daz. How do you feel about that? Um, it's like, you know, the serpent on the um, the genie and the lamp where it memorizes it and attacks you. That's what he is. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. So we're gonna have a look at the menu. Let's check out what food they have here. It's very busy, so that's always a good sign if a place is busy. So fingers crossed, Data Daz hasn't got me into a into a place the food's not great. One day in advance. Well you got it? Can't have lobster. Gonna order it one day in advance. And it's your turn to pay. I would have the lobster. <laughs> he always says that, it's always my turn to pay. I've never no, it's never been his turn to pay. I'm trying to figure that out. Um, well, I have to. That's not true. I'm only slagging, by the way. Just, just, just to clarify that. Darren is a very generous man. Just, just to clarify that. You got the evil look there. You got the evil look. That's why he's saying that. <laughs> I know that look from Sahar. But I just gonna uh, who the Persian princess, by the way. She couldn't make it because she's working. Um, we have uh, Zoe and the Persian princess out earning the money, haven't we? We have. Yes. Yeah. yeah they're both at work. You're probably. Emily's there, I can't do it. Oh, I've got you, I've got you. Oh, you got me? Yeah, 100%. Okay. You can it's, see. Oh, you've got the screen on the back, that's why. Yeah, I can what see do I you. Know? <laughs> hey, hello. I got him. Unfortunately, I've got him. But uh, what do you think of the, the menu choice? Uh, all right, yeah. Let's give it a go. I'll have a good look through it, and then I'll come back to you. As Darren says, why I, man? Why I? What are you having, Daz? Well, starters, we're going to have some uh, nachos and chili con carne. We're sharing that, by the way. It's a sharing platter. And then for my main meal, I'm gonna have chicken breast on a sizzling plate with black pepper, vegetables and rice. Sounds pretty good. Check it out. What I'm gonna have is the half roast chicken with sauce. I don't know what the sauce is, but you know what? I'm not gonna ask, actually. I'm just gonna go for it and hope for the best. I'm gonna live life on the edge. Let's see what it's like. And I'm gonna go with vegetables. Hello, hi. What's your name? Carolina. Carolina, nice to meet you, Carolina. Nice to meet you. Excellent. What are you going for, Dad? What I am going to have, oh look, cameraman Daz holding oh. the camera. 
What I'm going to have is I am going to have the half roast chicken with sauce. I don't know yeah. what the sauce is, but sauce don't tell me, don't tell me whatever you do because I'm no. I'm just going to chance it and go. Oh, why should I know? They have a different flavor to us. Oh, you, you have different yeah. sauces. Right, ah. the sauce is mango sauce ah. or pepper sauce, curry sauce, or black pepper sauce, or mushroom sauce. Oh, what was the first one? Mango sauce. Mango sauce. That sounds nice. Mango sounds yeah, let's go. Hey, mango. Mango, mango, mango. Mango Italiano. Uh, <laughs> perfect. So, would you like home with the salads and chips or vegetables? Uh, just rice? vegetables, please. Yes. No rice. No rice. Just no vegetables. Chips. Okay. Extra vegetables if possible. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thanks very much. Thank you. All right, so I got a, a message on Instagram um, to give a shout out to uh, Jake Lane, Jade Lane, and Daz is going to give a shout out to. Dave Wise and Anne Wise. Hello guys, how are you doing? Big shout out, Dave and Anne Wise as well. Thanks for watching the vlogs. So the starters arrived. Um, it's nachos and chili con carne. It was actually nachos and chili con carne. I was expecting a mix of you. Think, I actually think it's chili con carne with a few nachos. <laughs> Uh, well, there might be nachos under here as well. well maybe, maybe there might be nachos. Let's see. We're going to talk and check it out. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Glad we only got one. What do you reckon? Mm. 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 In Data Daz language, that means yes. I am glad we only got one. A hundred percent. I'll actually leave the subtitles underneath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's good. Uh, the chili con carne is not like a normal chili con carne with uh, mints. It's a proper rustic chili con carne with bits of beef, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, really good. Fancy words today, rustic. Okay, guys, so I've eaten my uh, part of the starter. And I have to say, really, really good. What do you reckon, Data Daz? Data Daz is still eating, actually. Very good. Uh, it's a very, very rustic, nice chili con carne. I would be definitely giving it a thumbs up at an 8.5 without a doubt. An 8.5 from Daz, and I will give it a solid 8.7. And I'm looking forward to trying the, the main course. So uh, let's do this, I guess. Okay, so the food has arrived. Um, I have the half roast chicken with mango sauce. It looks really, really nice. I'm gonna try it now in a few minutes. And what do you have, Data Daz? I have the chicken breast on a sizzling platter with pepper, uh, black pepper sauce with rice and vegetables. Looking really good to be fair, presented well, looking good. Looking forward to, oh yeah, and I've also got uh, mango sauce here. Mango to go on the, the chicken. So yeah, let's tuck in. First taste of that chicken. Really moist, really, really tasty. Love it, really, really nice. Um, and it really looks really well cooked. Nice and moist, as they say. Moist as, moist. Moist. You like it nice and moist, do you? <laughs> I like it moist. <laughs> have, you, have you tried your chicken yet? Not yet, no. I haven't been in the chicken. The vegetables are really good though, really good. The old veg is spot on. Well, I've eaten my chicken, spot on. I have to say, I really, really enjoyed it. Really well cooked, really soft, moist, moist. The word for today is moist. Um, <laughs> the, the, letter for, the letters for today are R and M. The words for today are rustic and moist. So, um, <laughs> the, ch the chili con carne was rustic and my chicken was moist. I really enjoyed it, I have to say. I definitely come back here for the chicken, spot on. Mango sauce was really nice with it. The vegetable was, vegetables were really tasty. Um, and I'm gonna give it a solid nine out of 10. So, nice one. I'm gonna ask Data Daz what he thought of his chicken and his food. Yeah, I think I'm gonna back up what Daniel said there. Um, the sides with the main food were beautiful. The, um, the vegetables, absolutely amazing. I really enjoyed them. My chicken on a sizzling pat that was really, really good. Um, big chicken breast uh, covered in the black um, pepper sauce. Beautiful. I'm going to give mine a solid 9.2. Amazing. Not just amazing. I can't even say it. Say it again, Daz. Amazing. Amazing. So he's given it a 9.2. I've given mine a 9. 
I definitely recommend coming to this restaurant. So we decided not we weren't going to have a dessert, but apparently they've got something I've never heard of, is a deep fried ice cream. A deep fried ice cream, I don't even know how they're going to do that. Daz, have you ever heard of a deep fried ice cream? Um, no, <laughs> it's, I'm just shocked. Why, why doesn't it just melt? How is that? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out, is it just going to come out like a big blob of batter and ice cream? What do you think that? A, a big a big blob of just cream. <laughs> cream, cream fried stuff. Let's see what happens when it comes out. Interesting, she explained it to me. What it was like batter, honey, I don't know. <laughs> deep fried. <laughs> I've, I had my first deep fried Mars bar and I had my first fry, deep fried uh, I don't know, it was a, another bar. They were really nice, but I'm really interested to find this out. Yeah, strange. We're sharing, because sharing is... Caring. And caring... Is sharing. Exactly. Okay, so behind me, what's your name? Ma Maureen. That's an Irish, proper Irish name. Yeah. Oh, hold on, this thing's flambeing. Maureen, have you seen one of these before? No, there you go. There's an ice cream on fire. I never thought an ice cream could be on fire. After being deep fried. <laughs> After being deep fried, my ice cream is now on you're, fire. You're a fireman. Have you ever seen stuff like this? <laughs> Thank you so much. That's ready, Thank isn't you. it? Thank you. Wow. Are you sure this is a deep fried ice cream? I'll tell you what. What do you reckon? It looks good, I tell you what. Maureen's up for it. Do you want to try some Maureen? Do you want to try a bit? Come over and try a bit there if you want. Maureen's straight in, there's no stopping her. Go on, I've got it, I've got all the time. Is the ice cream in there? Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. I hear that now. Gorgeous. What would you give it out of 10? 10. A 10 out of 10. Lee, I know you said never to give 10 out of 10, but Maureen's given a 10 out of 10 for that. I'm having the first try. Ooh! <laughs> that, that almost sounded a bit like a Saturday night. No. <laughs> that, that is actually a taste sensation. That is so weird. Have a go, Dan. Come on. Get it. No, hold on one sec. Maureen, say what you just said there again. Tickled his fancy there. <laughs> it tickled his fancy. Dad, did it tickle your fancy? It doesn't take a lot to tickle my fancy. That's all I'm going to say to that one. <laughs> right, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to hand the camera to Dear Daz. Hey, tell me what, you've got a lovely sunset behind you there. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Let's get this done. Deep fried ice cream. Deep fried ice cream. Mm. That was not strange. It's strange. No, you can't hold it like that. I give Dear Daz the camera and he puts it the wrong way up. So, I have to say, very, very nice. Interesting taste. I'm going to try a bit more before I give a score. Try a bit more before I give a score. What do you think of that rhyme? I can do it in time. How about that then? Jeff Carter. Jeff Carter. You're going to turn the camera away from me? No, I'm going to make you. I'm going to watch you. I'm a bit freaked out. Who gave Data Daz the camera? You. Right. Isn't that so weird? It's strange. Did that? Let's have a look here. There's ice cream in it. it, it the whole thing went in. Look, yeah, yeah, the whole thing went in. The whole thing went in. I'll tell you what. We didn't get our pan We didn't get our tapas, thanks to Data Daz. We didn't get our pancakes, thanks to Data Daz. But what we did do is get the first time I've ever tried a deep fried ice cream. I didn't even think it was possible, but it is possible. He missed out a deep fried Blombeard ice cream. Oh, wow. How do you set fire to ice cream and it doesn't melt? Here's your evidence. So, for excitement, what do you think? Give it a 10. Give it a 10 out of 10. Oh. I don't have to wait and see. What's your name? Shona. 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 I'm going to say hello to everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> so who do we have here? Names. I think he's wanted possibly by the police. I'm going to clean the screen here. He's wanted by Interpol. Are you wanted by... The way he's hiding he might be wanted by Interpol. What's your name? Shona. 
What's your name, sir? Uh, Arnold. My Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. He'll be back. And my name's Mickey. Mickey Mouse. But that dessert, just for entertainment alone, and it tastes really good as well. I'm going to give it a... You never give a 10 out of 10, by the way. You, you can't give a 10 out of 10. It's against the rules. Yeah? No. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it a 9.7 out of 10. There you go. I'm getting bad looks here, but 9.7 is high because I never give a 10. I'm telling you. I'm going to turn around to Data Daz and all the attention's on Data Daz now. What are you going to give it? I'm scared. I'm actually real scared. I am. So, deep fried ice cream flambéed at your table with Quantro. Score out of 10. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I am. I really am. It's a taste sensation. I'm going to go for Daz is for all the big words. Taste sensation. Taste sensation. Taste sensation. <laughs> You're wanting all the vlog tonight, aren't you? <laughs> I'm um, I think I'm, I'm actually going to go right up there with Dan on this. And we all know we can't give 10 out of 10. Unfortunately, guys, it's not allowed in TV land, in YouTube land. It's just not allowed. I'm going to go up there with a 9.8. I really oh, am. 9.8. It's, 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 it's great. <laughs> oh, God. Get them some data. <laughs> <laughs> they need data, Daz. The TV's gone off. So, we've had a 10 from Maury, a 9.7 from the Crackmaster, a 9.8 from Data Daz. That's a fairly good score, so definitely worth checking it out. The name of the restaurant is Atlantic Coast Soar and I highly recommend you come and check it out. Great food, great location, as you can see, a great view from here. Here you go. Check it out. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. I tell you what, you leave Data Daz anywhere, he's literally going to talk to them all night. Like no rush Data Daz, come on. Alright guys, thanks for joining us on this vlog. <laughs> I don't know what he's up to, but he's happy because he got a deep fried ice cream. Oh, I, never... I tell you what, deep fried ice cream, it's the future. I tell you what, the future. We've never had one of them before. No. But I tell you what, um, I'm really grateful that you joined us on this vlog. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget to do all that stuff, like, subscribe, yeah, yeah. ring that bell, all ding, the crack, ding ding. ding 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 and all that. Yeah. And guys, um, I'm going to leave it to the, the, the crew in the restaurant yeah. to, uh, to do my lines. So keep it country. Hey. And it's heavy, take it twice. <laughs> there you go. Well, hey. Do you know, guys, Data Daz is great fun to be around because all he does is he's on the phone, look. Using me own data. Why not? I'm here for it. Always on the phone. Always on the phone. And like that in a restaurant, talk to anyone. I was waiting for ages to go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't make new friends if you don't speak to people. That's why I've got no friends. <laughs>